Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the DM to DF reading for Wednesday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in one of my favourite decks today, the Sincerely, the Divine Masculine XO by the gorgeous Empress Sam. And I'm actually going to compliment this deck again today with Sandra's deck, Divine Masculine Ego Struggles and Healing. So what do the Masculines want to connect with you about today? What do they want you to know? What do they want to say to you from their heart space? What's on their mind today? What are they thinking about processing and wanting you to know? So a couple of cars jumping out here and one that fell on the top of the camera. So I'm going to do that one first. And what do they want to express from their ego, their struggles and their healing self? What do they want you to know? So I'm after just one card and there it is. Wow. Okay. So the energy coming through today then is releasing. Wow, I am releasing. So they're really helping you to know that they are letting go of those karmic binds, anything that may be toxic to them, anything that may be in the way or keeping them away from you. I have to release all that no longer serves me. So they are very aware that they need to cut cords with the past, that there's things they have to let go of, things they need to walk away from, and things they need to change. Why? So they can be with you, Divine Feminine. So I can be free to be with you, my Divine Feminine, my one, my true love, my special person, my future. So I can be free. And that means free from anything they're stuck in. So that if they're in a relationship, they know they need to get out of that. If they are married, they know they need to get a divorce. If they are in a dead-end job or something that isn't resonating with them, they know they need to clear that away and start again. They may even be putting the resume out there. If they need to move on from a location, they need to change that. If they need to heal an addiction, they're releasing that. So I feel there's a big cycle coming to a close within their life. And they're saying it's not easy because this has been my life. So he's saying, please understand this has been my life. And it's been my life for a very long time. It's been something I've been stuck in and used to. It's a comfort zone. And you know how that feels, Divine Feminine. If there's something you've been doing for a long time... It's hard to break free. As much as you want to, it can be hard because of fear or finances or anything else, family members, what people think. So he's saying it's been hard for me to move on from this, but I am releasing it now. For a very long time, I've known it's time, but I'm going to do all I can to let go of what needs to go. So the masculine has been very clear, very honest, very transparent with these words. I have to release all that no longer serves me. And this card jumped out on its own. I need your understanding right now. Wow, I've got angel bumps. So again, a big message from heaven to change your perception, to respond with love, to have compassion and empathy for their journey. Remember, Unless you walk in someone else's shoes, you can never really understand what they're going through. So give them time, space and room and focus on you and be flexible, adaptable. Don't put demands on anything or conditions or dredge up the past or go over things. Because remember, love is unconditional. Love does not demand its own way. Love is patient and love is kind and love is gentle and love is understanding. And that doesn't mean you're waiting around or you're watching your clock. That means you have to let go. If you're doing that, you have work to do on you so that you feel at peace with the process of your life and so that you trust in the love and have faith in it. So your masculine is saying, I need your understanding right now because I have to release all that no longer serves me so I can be with you. And he's saying, I feel so connected to you. And I feel the more understanding you are, the more connected you feel the closer to each other you feel because the closer you become. Your masculine feels connected to you because of your understanding, because of your compassion, your gentleness, your kindness, your generous heart. So if you want to feel more connected with your twin, if that's something you're wanting right now, something you're craving right now, be kind, be loving, be you. Open your heart. Don't worry about being hurt or betrayed or walked on. Focus on love, 
Focus on joy and remember everything teaches you that you are alive and that you are a spiritual being having a human relationship, a human connection, a human experience. And that means you feel. You'll go through feelings, the good and the bad, but it shows you're alive. So if you want to feel more connected with your twin, try and understand them a bit better right now. Try and see things from their point of view or try and walk a mile in their shoes in your mind. Because he's saying, I'm doing soul searching. I'm soul searching right now. I'm understanding who I am. I'm realizing where I need to release and let go of to be with you. And I'm also understanding on a very deep level that we are already married. We have a spiritual marriage. And that's so true. And I try and explain that to people outside of the journey or even sometimes to twins not in union. And sometimes you don't get it. And the truth is, me and George feel that way. We feel that we are already married because we are already married spiritually. We don't need a piece of paper or to stand in front of other people or have a one day event that costs lots of money to prove our love. We already know we love each other. We already know we trust each other. We already know we are belonging to each other and that we want each other over any other. We don't need a piece of paper to prove that or show that or show our love is real. And when you're in union, you, you rise above these things that can also be very kind of fear based or, you know, worrying about like that, what people think, these kind of things. So, yes, marriage is wonderful. And many of you are going to be married. It's what you want. It's what you dream about. Maybe it's what you are working towards. But some of you may not want that because you feel in union you've already got that. And what your masculine is saying to you is, we already have a spiritual marriage. Our spiritual connection and our spiritual love is much stronger than any bond I have or any piece of paper I have with someone in the physical world. So, for example, if they are already married to someone in the physical world, the bond you have with your twin is much stronger and you're being guided to try and see that in a higher way because you know sometimes when we get married and this certainly resonates in karmic situations as well there's a reason the reason could be because of a child or for financial reasons or because of fear you know think about all the people out there that trap people in marriages or in pregnancies because they're afraid of losing the other person well, when you're with your twin flame and when you're in union, when you've worked through all those insecurities and fears before union, they're no longer present. So you don't feel the need to be married physically with a piece of paper or a wedding dress because you already feel married spiritually. And it's so important you understand that because it's very likely you'll get married to your twin, but maybe not as quick as you think you will. Or it may not be at the forefront of your mind because when you're together you are together body mind heart and soul and that's really the way your masculine feels about you right now you know it's like he's really crying out to say to you I may be married to someone else or in a karmic relationship but it doesn't mean anything compared with the relationship and the connection and the bonds I share with you so you already have a spiritual marriage He's doing soul searching about that to try and make it come in the physical way. He feels connected to you, especially when you understand what he's going through or give him time, space, room and don't force or pressure anything because he's releasing everything he needs to release to be with you. And he knows very well what he needs to do. So trust the journey. You are loved and you are safe. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.